Hey everybody, Cliff Ravenscraft here from PodcastAnswerMan.com and GSPN.TV. Now, many of you have been following me on Twitter and Facebook and LinkedIn and all these other social networking places and you saw me share some photos of what I've been working on over the last two weeks. And I do mean for the last two weeks. Basically what I've been doing is a brand new studio redesign here for the GSPN.TV world headquarters. Now. I know it wasn't too long ago that I did the last studio redesign that was previously posted at podcastanswerman.com slash studio setup, which of course this is going to be added at the bottom of that post. But anyway, I wanted to give you an update because um, the last time I did the studio, sure it looked great when it was all clean, but it didn't stay clean because all of the furniture that I had in here in this 10 by 10 foot room, uh, it basically 100 square feet is all I have in this room, I basically used it all up with that, with that furniture and it gave me very little room to uh, work with things. Not only that, but wires were everywhere, dust was building up everywhere, which there's still a little bit of underlying dust that I still need to clean up. But I think what you're going to see in this new studio tour that I'm going to show you here, things are a lot different uh, and things are simpler. I spent two weeks instead of two days doing the studio redes redesign this time and a majority of that time was spent uh, using wire ties and uh, some labels to label each and every wire and putting it perfectly in a place and tying it all up and suspending it in midair under my desk so that you don't see all the clutter when you walk through the studio. If you want to get an idea for what I'm talking about and see the studio, here's the video now. Thanks for tuning in. Okay everybody, I am going to now walk on into the studio here and give you an idea of how things are looking these days. Of course, you can see right over here, you see the Gallant desk that uh, came from IKEA. And one of the things that you'll notice is as you look at my desk here, my desk space, I want to point out, see that right there? That's the wall, that's the floor right there. Uh, you'll notice that there are very few cables that you can see. In fact, the only cable you can really see right here is that cable right there, which is my headphones, which is sitting up there on the desk, obviously right there. And so, yeah, uh, very clear and uh, free from all the clutter that used to be uh, the wires that, that pretty much littered my entire studio. I'll give you a, a closer view of that, but it's just a, as you can see, the, the table slash desk, if you will, that I chose from IKEA only has three legs. It's got a leg there, it's got a leg back there in the back, and it's got a leg over here. So it's a very open and uh, freeing space, but I had to do something with those wires. And you might be wondering, what on earth did I do with those wires? I'll show you that in just a moment. Uh, let me come back over here for just a moment and show you this corner. This corner right here is the live stream corner. Now normally this tripod would not be sitting where it's at right there. Uh, but for this moment in time, that's exactly where I chose to put it. Uh, but anyway, we'll run Ustream off of this. In fact, let me come back here in the back and kind of show you what's going on back here. And that right there is my Mac Mini on the bottom, all right, which basically has a very long USB extension cable that's going up and around this door all the way over to there and it leads to that webcam right there. And so that webcam is uh, going to give people the view of what's going on in our studio. Now I may actually set it up to where the Canon Vixia is actually going to be providing the live stream. If I can figure out a way to do that, I will. And I'm certain that I can. It's just the question on when I'm going to get around to doing that. Coming back over to here though, there is a, an old Linksys router, wireless router right there. And of course on top of that is my DSL 
modem. So we do have DSL from the telephone company for internet access for the Ustream. And really that's the only thing that internet access is actually used for. It's not used for anything else other than that. And of course this big stack of paperwork right there are all single sheets of paper with maybe a couple things, uh, maybe an invoice that's been paid attached to it. But that's the stack of equipment orders that I've sold since 2008. So all those equipment orders are have a backed up uh, paper copy right there. There's another little table. Uh, of course, I got my I keep my receipts in those uh, type of uh, expandable file folders. And then uh, right now I'm using this brand new camera here, the Canon Vixia HF G10. Absolutely loving this can camera. This is the actual first day of using it. And of course, that's why I still have the manual up there. I want to read up on some things. But uh, and then right in between there, uh, I have a very awesome device that I cannot wait to play with and, and I'm hoping I might get an opportunity to do this this weekend. I've actually had this gear sitting here in this box for, oh, I'd say probably at least two months now uh, for me to review. And uh, if I open it up inside of here, there is a JK Audio Blue Keeper, all right? And a Blue Keeper is just like the JK Audio Broadcast Host, only it hooks up via Bluetooth to your cell phone instead of hooking up to your uh, landline telephone. All right, now of course, over here in the corner, you see that I have a lighting fixture for uh, some certain studio lighting setups. Now, of course, I'm not using the lighting there. I am using, however, a, a lighting here. You can see the shade if I put my hand in front of it that I'm using the, my old SEMA lighting. Uh, in the wall there, you see my one cable for my cable internet modem, which is, of course, if you follow down here, you can see that that's really the only cable you see along with those power cables that are right there. Actually, you do see a lot of cables there, but let me just show you what it looks like if I back up here and I come around the corner. You can see that still there are very few cables here. There's the chair and you come around and it doesn't look too bad. All right, so there you go. That's, there's another lighting fixture there and of course another lighting fixture there. Which Now when it comes to my 27 inch iMac, there's the back of it right there. And of course you see Stephanie's high LPR 40 right there going over to the wall. Uh, that right there is a um, uh, Firewire 800 drive, backup to two terabyte drive that I use for my backup of my uh, Mac using Time Machine. And of course right there is uh, the MacBook Air. Let me turn this light off so I don't get that glare right back. But anyway, that's the MacBook Air that Stephanie uses right there when she is looking at the chat room when she's recording live. So this would be kind of like her view right here. She would bring that down and she can very easily sit here in this chair and see me with no problem at all. It's very nice setup and I enjoy it that way. All right, so we're going to turn that light back on and bring you back here. You can see that um, in the back of the iMac, I am using up a lot of the ports. But what's really cool, if I ever need to, I can actually disable or take apart, unplug all of those things and everything is labeled here. So let me just show you, for example, this right here, um, if I can zoom in, these are all kind of labeled extremely well. Uh, there you go. So this is computer audio to line 11, 12 on the mixer. And this right here is, uh, let's see here, what does that say? Uh, APC Mac. Okay, so there I have two APC power backups and that go, that's the Mac one. And so basically I have everything. I can unplug all of these things, unplug this power cable, pull all of that through and you can see how this is all kind of tied together here so that if I ever need to have service done on my iMac I can easily unplug that leave those wires hanging when I get it back I can just plug them back up and I'm good to go all right I'm gonna put this speaker right back there and of course I have a hub right down here uh, with quite a few USB things plugged in and you can see that there are those kind of labels right here as well which tell me exactly where those are and you'll understand why all of these labels are important uh, in just a moment when you see my wire management so let's bring you down below the desk here so really uh, that's about as messy as the wires get and as you can see that is kind of still you know kind of hidden 
for the most part, you know, especially when you're right at this angle, those, all of those wires are kind of hidden, and all you can see really is that one wire for the cable and those two power cables, and it's, and it's not too bad. But when you come back here, you start to see a little bit there, which is nothing like what it used to be, of course, until we come down here, and oh my goodness, check this out. So you can see that there are lots of wires that are necessary to hook up all of this gear. And everything is kind of uh, at a perfect length, as, as much as it needs to be. And everything's tied off with these wire ties. So that way, um, you know, I don't just have all this stuff hanging all over the floor. And as you can see, I've, I've got everything kind of tied up to the frame up here and it keeps everything suspended up in the air rather than sitting on the floor, okay? Um, so yeah, that's, this is my equipment rack. It's the back of it. You can see how I just have wires going everything. And of course, there you go. Again, let me get in a, just uh, get in here real quickly. You can see, um, and I think that's gonna stay blurry because I'm holding it with my one hand only but anyway you can see right there they have those labels on it once again and so those labels of course tell me what wire, where those wires are coming from on the other end and where they go to so anyway a little bit of wire management there underneath the desk is exactly what's happening now I'm going to come up under the desk here and show you that you can see um, on this side there's some wiring that's happening here and it actually goes to where you can see I've actually uh, used some big heavy wire ties to uh, suspend uh, another um, power strip right there and I've got my old Mac MagSafe um, power adapter strapped up there the wires all strapped up there so none of the wires are hanging down and of course, from there, I've got one another power strip plugged in that's installed at the end of the desk there, which I'll show you in just a moment. So again, so while you look underneath, there's plenty of wiring from above. It doesn't look that bad, all right? So let me go back over here. Oh, by the way, uh, Stephanie's, whoop, sorry about that. Stephanie's uh, headphones gets plugged in right here. And actually, this is also where the live stream is coming from and of course that's going down here it's actually kind of tied to the table that leg there and tied to the leg there and of course I could run that under the carpet and I probably will but uh, anyway we've got the tie-ups there uh, again the lighting systems up here over here of course if you haven't heard of that, this before I'll, I'll just share with you these are this is the uh, board where I keep all of the um, postcards, letters, and other things that people send in uh, from all over the world. As you can see, we've got Miami, we've got Chicago. This one's from England. This came from Richard Emblem, and it's a bunch of churches in England that are part of his parish. There's Adelaide, Australia. Um, some other p things from, there's Levin, or I think that's how you say that. I've got cards from guitar right over here, guitar. Um, so just from all over the world, people sending in postcards and letters and all sorts of things. And I just love looking at this board and it just reminds me uh, all the time of the reason why I do all the things I do. And again, more of the lighting over here. I'm gonna close the door behind me here. And uh, let's see here, I've got the 27 inch iMac right there. I've got my Heil PR40. And I have a secondary monitor. That's a 23 inch monitor right there. Uh, I've got my brother printer. I've got some books up on the shelf behind me there. I've got my famous whiteboards with lots of uh, ideas. Of course, I just completely cleaned everything off and moved a lot of stuff into some wonder list, uh, lists for things to do. And these are just some other ideas and concepts that I came up with. Um, pen and utensil ma uh, management there. Of course, I have uh, filing folders for important stuff here and uh, important stuff down here, all the taxes and everything, all that fun stuff. All right, so again, coming back to 
this situation over here. Uh, actually, before I go underneath the table, uh, let me just go ahead and tell you, I, I do have a couple things of interest here. One, I use just regular kind of like computer speakers and yeah, wow, I need to dust again. Anyway, I, I use regular computer speakers and that controls the volume and, and base of the uh, computer speakers that I use for inside the studio if I'm not recording live and just listening to music or whatever. Uh, that's my, oh, it's called a Pulse digital pen, I believe. Uh, it's, a, it's a smart pen. so. I have to write into special notebooks for it to record it, but it records a um, back electronic backup of everything. Of course, I got my wireless uh, Magic Mouse and keyboard. My iPhone just leans up against there. It's inside its Mophie case. I've got my iPad, which is my, let me just uh, turn this off here. There we go. It is my picture frame for when I'm working throughout the day, and it, of course it is used for many other things, and that's a picture of my son Matthew and my daughter McKenna as we were on the No More Mondays cruise with Dan Miller, and just, uh, I snuck up behind them and captured that photo, and it was a great day and everything, so anyway. Uh, let's see here. Over here, of course, you see my Edderall recorder, my Roland R-09. And of course, for those who are wondering, yes, I also do have a Roland R-05 recorder. And I use this all the time for my in the field stuff and I use my Edderall R09 for in the studio stuff. And I don't need to, but I have to, <laughs> so I, I have to. And of course, this looks just like that device I showed you in the box over there. This is my broadcast host, which allows me to bring in telephone calls into my recordings. And then I have my Mackie Mixer 1402 VLZ3. And again, you can see the number of wires has just really been reduced and simplified and only having the things necessary. And of course, I've got uh, some drawers with tons of different things inside of it. Um, you know, t well, it would shock you if you saw some of the stuff that's in there. It's just tons of stuff, and most of it I'll probably never need. But uh, things that I just have a hard time letting go of. And wow, look at the dust on top of that device there. Anyway, this right here is my equipment rack. And the device on the top here is the headphone amplifier. The device in the middle is um, my equalizer. And the device at the bottom is my Behringer MDX4600. That's the subwoofer for my, um, my computer speakers. And that right there is the APC for my Mac computer. That right there pretty much, see, see the, that box right there? The RCA box, that is my cable modem. So the APC power backup, you can see right now that as it is, if I were to lose power, I'd have 42 minutes of power for my 27 inch iMac and my uh, wireless router and my internet access. So those three things would continue to function. Of course, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up here and I'm actually going to turn the brightness of my monitor all the way down, which of course you can see that I can still see my monitor just fine. And if I come down, because I turned the brightness down, I now have 67 minutes. So I could have over an hour of backup power for my 27 inch iMac for my cable modem, internet access, and also, and I'm gonna show you in just a second, my wireless router. Now I also have another APC backup right over here. I can see just barely right here from this angle that it shows that I have 48 minutes left on it. That actually controls my secondary monitor for my computer. It also controls my, um, my mixer. It controls the JK Audio broadcast host. It controls pretty much everything. Matter of fact, everything in my studio, uh, except for the lights, the printer, and the Ustream computer over in the other corner, is all power backup. So I have approximately 48 minutes to an hour or more um, I can see that this one just jumped up to 70 minutes there. But anyway, um, I've got plenty of time. Now, of course, you can see the wire management, again, from that corner we showed you before. And now, check this out. We've got all kinds of things happening under this desk. I mean, this one's gotten a little bit crazy. But everything has a purpose and everything has a place. I have, let's see here, one, two, 
uh, power surge adapters. Uh, you can see that not only are the surge adapters held up there with some pretty significant um, wire ties, but also uh, some of the heavier uh, power adapters I've even got strapped in so that they won't get um, so they won't fall down. Right there is my um, Apple, what do they call that? Airport Extreme wireless router and that's actually in there as well uh, tied up with uh, wire ties and on top of it the black thing right below that device is a USB hub which gives me a couple more USB hub connections there and I even have a little extension so that right here easily accessible to me at all times is a USB connector and I use that quite often and so again you can see under the desk with all these wire ties there's tons and tons of wires all up under there but it all comes down when it comes down to what can you see when you're looking from above everything's very clean and uh, very nicely tucked away so let me see if I can get back up here and again, take a look, see how that all disappeared and gives me a very clean, functional studio. So this, my friends, is the new GSPN.TV World Headquarters studio setup for July 2011. Well, my friends, thank you for tuning in to my brand new studio tour update here from the GSPN.TV World Headquarters and PodcastAnswerMan.com studios. I just want to say real quickly here, if you're interested in equipment and how I have all this stuff up and why I use all the equipment that I have, please do me a favor and go to PodcastAnswerMan.com slash studio setup. That page has a wonderful long blog post with lots of video, lots of photos of the studio that I have here and how it's actually looked from the beginning, the early days of my very first entry into the world of podcasting and how it's kind of grown and, and uh, evolved since then. Not only that, but it is also that page at podcastanswerman.com slash studio setup. It's also the home of the digital video tutorial series that you can purchase called Inside the Studio, which is basically how I base all of the equipment that I use, how I use it, what you know, how it all works together, including showing you the wiring diagram of how I have it all hooked up. And then that tutorial also shows you uh, my entire step by step workflow of going from uh, you know, scheduling what am I going to talk about in a podcast all the way through producing a podcast, my step by step workflow of what I go through each time I produce a show. So, again, that's at podcastanswerman.com slash studio setup. If you're looking to start a podcast and you don't know where to begin, I'm going to tell you that podcastanswerman.com slash A to Z has the answer for you. In fact, any page that you're on at um, podcastanswerman.com, there should be a banner over on the right hand side that says podcasting A to Z online training course. Click that and it'll give you more information. It's a five week program where I teach you everything that you need to know to learn how to podcast and do it successfully from the beginning. Anyway, thank you again. God bless you all. We'll talk to you soon. Bye bye. Thank <laughs> you.